Welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial focusing on how to edit a television style news package. In this tutorial, I'm going to focus on how to create basic graphics, in particular a graphic uh, to represent the name and title of an interviewee. And what I mean by that is if we look at a professional example, when an interviewee is speaking on news, we always have a graphic to represent their name and who they are. Um, it's called in Australia, a super, but I'm not sure what it's called in the rest of the world. Um, and generally those name graphics or supers kind of appear with some kind of animation. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make something, well, basically similar uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, but just as a proviso, I'm not a graphic designer, uh, so it's not going to look as professional um, as you would see on TV that is made by professional animators and graphic designers, but um, hopefully this, this will be good enough to get us by uh, for a news package designed for students for the internet. All right, so the way I go about it is I uh, need to create a new graphic, and there's a few different ways to do this, but the way that I prefer to do it is by going up and pressing File, New, and then going to Legacy Title. It's called Legacy Title because it's actually the old way of creating graphics in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I actually prefer the old way. And thankfully, even though there's a new way, uh, they've kept the old way there. And you can access it by going to Legacy Title. Um, this will pop up a new title uh, screen. Um, ignore the video settings. They should automatically match what your video settings are for your project, but do give it a name because even on a small news package, you're probably going to be working with multiple titles and it can get really confusing if the titles are all just called title. So um, I'm going to call this one Samuel title and click OK. Right, after that, you'll get another screen and this uh, legacy title screen is kind of like a mini version of Photoshop. Um, you can create basic shapes, uh, you can play around with fonts and you can also change uh, the values of those fonts over here, like color, um, size, ignore that, etc. cetera. Um, so um, what I need to do first, let's have a look at the professional version, is kind of create a basic rectangle shape. So I do that by over here clicking on rectangle and I'm just gonna drag a shape. Yeah, kind of happy with that. Um, the only thing I don't like is that it's white. Um, for some reason I prefer black. So if I want to change the color of that shape, I'm going to go to color over here and move this around until I get to black and click OK, and now it's black. Um, but it's still looking a little cheap and nasty, I think. It's just kind of just this black square appearing on the screen. One way to kind of make it uh, less, well, for better, better word, uh, nasty, is uh, you can, again, click on the square and change the opacity. This will make it transparent. So at the moment, the opacity is on 100%. I'm gonna drag that down to about 60%, I reckon that makes it uh, more see-through and it just doesn't, yeah, it looks a little uh, cleaner on screen. That's my square. Now, next I need to add some font. So up here, I click on the type tool and I'm going to type the name. Unfortunately, uh, because my color was black because I was working as a black square, the type has come up as black. So I'm going to have to highlight that type, go back to color and make that white. Cool. There's a typo over there. Never have a typo in any of your news stories. Um, that is rule number one. Okay, that is his correct name. Um, now uh, I am going to change that font family because um, I want a font that's more newsy. Um, what is a newsy font? Let's just go with Old Faithful Helvetica. Um, change the font style. I'm going to go with bold for his name and then have it not bold for his position. And at the moment that font size is way too big. I'm going to reduce that down under font size. Um, that's all okay, uh, and change the opacity to 
100%. So it's not see-through. Um, probably make that a little bit smaller, maybe 55. And then click on the cursor up here and move it into position. Nice. And then repeat the same process, but with their position or title, um, I'm just going to say singer. I want this to be not in bold anymore. I'm going to change it to, let's have a look at regular, mm, light. Yeah, I'm going to go with light and going to make the font size a bit smaller, say 45, and then move this down as well. And kind of line it up with the name. It gets a bit fiddly. Um, it's not lined up perfectly. Not too bad. Um, great. So there's my name super. In fact, I'm going to I'm a bit pedantic sometimes. I'm going to change that to uh, light oblique. No, I don't like light oblique. I'm going to go back just to light. Okay. Um, yeah, happy with that. Um, so once you are happy with your name super and it's kind of aligning correctly, like you can spend a lot of time uh, making it beautiful, particularly if you have design skills, click on the cross up here and uh, it's disappeared. But what it's doing is it's living in here under Samuel title. Um, I'm going to create, because I like to keep everything organized, a new bin called titles, and I'm going to move that into titles. So it just lives there. And then you can click on it and move it over to a, a spare video track of your edit. And it becomes its own kind of uh, file on the timeline, and you can move it around. So Generally, uh, a title will appear probably like a second after the grab starts. So let's, I want to start it there, move it there, and, and it will generally be up for about three seconds. So um, I'm going to have it up for that long and drag it back so then it will disappear. Now, unfortunately, it's just popping up. There's no animation, right? Like if we look at how the professionals do it, you're going to have some kind of animation when it pops up. Um, to achieve that, you need to understand how to use uh, Adobe After Effects, which is way beyond uh, what I need to talk about in this tutorial. Um, but I'm going to show you a really uh, kind of fake animation uh, to a, just, just so it just doesn't just like pop up like that. Um, you can go over here on the arrow tools and go to effects and go into video transitions, dissolve, and use a cross dissolve at the start and the end of the title. If I move that cross dissolve over to the start and then a cross dissolve at the end, what's going to happen is the title is going to fade in and fade out. Fade in and fade out. Looks way more professional, right, than it just popping up. If you want that fade in to be faster, just reduce the time of the cross dissolve. Perfect, really happy with that. And hey, for something that was just made in five minutes, uh, that actually looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, so that's how I create titles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, now. Assuming you have multiple interviewees in your story, you don't want to go through the exact same process again and again and again. So here's a cheat. Let's say your second interviewee is called, I don't know, Nick. Um, so what I'm going to do is over on the original file, I'm going to right click and go duplicate. And then I have a copy of that. And I'm going to change this to Nick title and then double click on it to open it. And let's just change this to Nick Teacher, for example. Um, and then my position can be, I don't know, Professor. Um, and then I move that over, and I now have another title 
um, in exactly the same font and structure as the original because you want that consistency for all your grabs in the same project. So that's a really quick way of avoiding having to recreate again and again and again the same graphics. Um, hopefully that helps. Uh, good luck with your editing.